fun. Okay, so I have been gone for almost a month and that is crazy. Uh, yeah. Uh, today I'm just going to be doing a quick little haul. This is like a couple of things from what I got for my birthday and what I bought. I put myself on basically like a very limited makeup buying uh, budget and I did get a couple of things for my birthday because it's my birthday and I wanted to just for a treat. I, just, I don't normally do this all the time. This is uh, what I'm wearing today and it is the pigment in blue brown by MAC. I got a sample from Makeup Geek and I also got the MAC Reflex Pearl uh, glitter and also from Makeup Geek. If you're in Australia, Exciting News Priceline has now opened an online store which is really awesome. Um, at the moment they're having major meltdown issues the website's really slow, they've got a lot of bugs to sort of sort through, but I did manage to put through an order, um, and it took a while, but I got there, I managed to put through an order, and they have a click frenzy thing going on today, and I'm like, oh my gosh, so much stuff, uh, but their website's completely dead, so it just crashed, so there's no way of even getting on there. So, I got a couple of things from Priceline Online, which I'm really excited about, because uh, as I've mentioned before in a couple of videos, Priceline uh, used to be around my area and they closed and I went to Indrapilly the other day and they've actually closed from there as well so that's like my two nearest places, uh, they've just closed them. So basically I have no Priceline stores in my area or even close to me. The closest one in Brisbane I think would be Chermside or possibly Mount Gravatt. Um, but yeah, that's like... Whew, Bit of a mish for me to get there so I was really bummed because I like going to Priceline and yeah so I'm really excited that they have an online store now. Anywho I'm gonna stop rambling. Okay so what I got from Priceline I got the Australis Fresh and Flawless which I did mention in a I think a tutorial so that's what it looks like there. Open it up if I can there we go. This is supposed to be a dupe for Mac Studio Big Plus foundation, I think it is. God, I always forget that. Ah, uh, yes, this is supposed to be a dupe for that, and it is relatively good coverage. It doesn't go too cakey on me, and the only downside is there's like I think there's only three shades to choose from. Been I mean, I've been about for ages. It's the Maybelline color tattoo in tough as taupe, and I use this as a base today under my eye makeup. And I really, really like the consistency of these. I just find they glide on so nicely. And I feel like I've already shown these. That's that one there. And the red one there. I've heard really great things about the Kate Moss lipstick collection from Real, so I thought, why not? Give it to go. But this brush, which I've really, really wanted for a while because of this side. I don't have any proper like combs like this so I'm really excited. And this one the blush brush because everyone goes on about this and goes on about how huge it is but I don't know it doesn't seem that big. Maybe I built it up to be like a massive brush but you know it's not it's not epic or anything like that. Alright then um, this is what I picked up the other day I was in Target and I saw these and I thought mm, why not give it a go it comes with nail stencils and they're um, a pen nail polish. So I've opened up one of them so I can sh actually show you like what the tip is if it will focus. I have glitter on my hand. So there. Uh, it says not to use on like a bare nail. You have to put it over nail polish. And I haven't got any nail polish to come out yet so I don't know how to work this thing. So we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, and yeah, it comes with nail stencils. I don't know, should we be able to even make these out? It's kind of a bit difficult. If you can see. So yeah, it's got nail stencils. So I got white and uh, black because I do like to do reverse uh, French manicures sometimes when I have the time. Uh, I used to like to do them a lot before I had Henry. But... That's fine. Okay, so last two items I'm really, 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 really excited about because I've been lusting after them for ages and 
my mom went to uh, London, what was it, oh, easily over a month ago. Uh, obviously in London they sell Urban Decay and I was like, oh my goodness, can you please try and get the Vice palette if you see it? And the Vice palette actually wasn't available till Christmas in the UK, so she wasn't able to get that, but she picked me up the Smoke palette instead, which is another one which I'm lusting after. I will show you. Awesome! I'm sure most people have already seen this by now, but yeah. Those are the colours, and they're so gorgeous, and they're really soft and like gorgeous to work with. I love them, like butter. Um, so yeah, I got that, and I really like the packaging too, the zip. It's very nice and handy. Okay, and then, uh, I was just expecting to wait till the new year to find this, but I got it! Ah! As you can tell, it marks so easily. It's like sort of almost rubberized, but it's, a, it's like a hard, rubbery, plastic container. It's a pretty Vice palette and I got this from Beauty Bay and I think they're actually sold out at the moment but there are a few other retailers online that do sell it. Uh, yeah, so it comes with a brush and all the pretty pretty eyeshadows. It's so gorgeous. And I think this was, I ended up paying like $65 for it. So this is a big purchase for me and this was my birthday present to myself. So. Um, I got it with the gift card that Alex got me. And also, as you have noticed in my last couple of videos, I am in HD. Uh, that's because my new camera I am filming on was a birthday present from my lovely boyfriend Alex and I'm really happy because I've always wanted to film in HD and my other camera was just awful with like picking up detail and it was just frustrating to me. Uh, I heard some like terrible reviews about this after <laughs> Alex actually bought it for me and I used it for a while and then I thought oh, I'll check it out online for um, any sort of like software downloads or anything like that. Um, and there were a lot of terrible reviews from like hardcore camera lovers but it works really well for me and it's user friendly, shoots HD videos so it does exactly what I want and I'm really happy with it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!